Welcome to the Millionaire Blogging System, uh, Day 4, Part 4, Episode 4, January 28th on a Wednesday. And it's warm and beautiful here in Southern California. Sorry to all of those of you in the cold regions where it's freezing, like where my oldest daughter's at in New Hampshire. Um, disgusting. She actually took videos and pictures of her walking out at the ocean because she just lives across from the ocean. Gonna have to have a DNA check on that girl. <clears throat> Can't be any of my blood. I, no way would I be walking in a storm, in a blizzard, watching waves crash against ice and snow. Um, you've seen my photos of me. I'd rather be on the beach where it's warm and uh, sunny. <laughs> Um, and, and occasionally it rains in the tropics, but it, it's still a warm rain. It's not you're not cold. So um, let's uh, let's jump into this. Um, I've been getting some interesting responses. I've got a couple of people that are interested in what we're doing with the blogging system, the Kalatu, right here, the uh, where it says your passion, and above that it says the world's best blog blogging platform and training, um, you know, uh, you know programs. Um, if you have not checked into that, let's get to the point right now. You should click on that. Yes, enter your email so I can bug you more. And uh, actually, I don't even have a, a an email follow up going out to that right now. Um, but find out about what's going on there because if you're at all interested in creating an income from working at home, you know, in a cluttered office like mine. Now, mine. Um, I had somebody ask, "What is all that stuff in the background?" Well, I'm a beach body coach, okay, and um, was in much better shape before my truck accident. But this is all mostly empty boxes up on the top from our Shakeology and you know other products, and um, I I save them for display to build a background for my video, and it's just grown and grown and grown. Then every time a new program comes out, I buy the program so that I can go through the DVDs, play around with it because I can't really do aerobics, and um, and see what can be done and what the program's like. That way I can answer questions so I'm knowledgeable about what's the program like. Um, so I have one of every program that Beachbody's ever produced. Um, and then I have a lot of empty containers and so forth. And I've got some of my other coach friends uh, to give me their boxes and so forth so that um, we, we just have a nice display in the back. And then uh, somebody asked about the surfboard. Uh, that was a, a prize a couple of years ago for catching the wave, uh, meaning the wave in January and February about the wave of all the new people uh, going to the gyms and changing their resolutions to get healthier and fitter. And if you uh, qualified by the end of December or something like that, you got this dynamite surfboard that's got the logos of the then programs. I mean, that's really the major programs we had at the time. We didn't have a lot like we do now. Um, this is like from like two years ago. And basically, we come out with a new workout program almost every three months now because variety and and change is good for your body and it's good for, because it breaks habits I mean you can produce more but I won't go into a lot of that that's a whole different ballgame uh, you can learn more about that at uh, www.100kfitness.com about all the products and the challenges to where you can get healthier and fitter and there's programs uh, individual programs listed down here. You click on those and you can go right to them. So I won't get into that, but that answers the question about my background. Now, um, the other thing, and um, by the way, um, I, as I mentioned, I'm on Facebook and so forth. And then if you click on this video, like right here, right, right there, uh, where it says YouTube, it'll take you to the YouTube page and you can actually leave comments and stuff there. And I can respond to you there if you're having any trouble leaving a comment actually on this blog page. So, uh, some of the, um, uh, got some more businesses that people asked about and some ideas. And then um, I had some uh, other people, not necessarily complaining, but they said, you know, they they're, they're would like to know a little bit more about something else. So, I'm going to see if I can't break this up a little bit on these days, a little partial of everything. So first, let me start out with um, the whole idea behind this is to help you start a blog, okay? A blog is like a written diary um, with information and so forth that you create on the internet. People come and look at it, and then if you've got the right target audience and you create the right products to promote, and people buy it from you rather than buying it from somewhere else, you will make a commission. 
Just that simple. Just like I make a commission on all the Beachbody workout programs down below. I make a profit on the uh, Shakeology. I make a profit on the blogging system. And I make a profit off the cashback program that will be listed underneath here. So everything that you see here with a link that you can go to, um, there's nothing hidden. I mean, I'm here to make money. I'm giving you advice that you can use for free, okay? So, but in the long run, I still want to make money. Now, here's the idea behind this. Uh, years ago, I was, when I was on the Internet, um, I had a huge mailing list. And if I would offer something and promote something through emails and so forth, because we didn't have like the system we have today, uh, the Internet's not anything like what it was before 20 years ago. It was like, you know, it was like riding a bicycle compared to riding a, a Ferrari now. Um, so back then, I could easily, uh, because I had built up a huge mailing list, that if I sold, um, promoted something that I was marketing, and I sold a thousand of them, I could easily make seven thousand dollars in one email. Um, and then you figure, let's do that once a week, and then you constantly find a party of people that will buy something. Now, people don't buy every single time, just like people don't buy a TV from Best Buy every time they send out a flyer. Oh, they got another TV on sale. Let's buy another one. No, but the people that didn't buy a TV this week might buy a TV the next week or next week or next month or two months down the road. So you, you have to build up a huge database of people, and then people will buy uh, sporadically. So the idea is to find the right product and have a big enough fan base and followers that you will create a service for them, like I'm hoping to create for you. But my whole goal here is um, to help you learn how you can earn money through blogging. Now, any monetary numbers I give and potential is strictly uh, results are not typical because not everybody will do what it takes to, to work at it. So um, government and their wise wisdom, um, you know, thinks that we ought to babysit people that don't understand that. Look, you can't buy a hammer and nail, take it home, and then complain because you didn't get a house built, okay? It's just as simple. Buying hammer and nails and maybe a couple of boards and you go home with it, that's not it. You're not going to be able to build a house with that overnight or within a week or two. And then you turn around and you complain. Well, I, 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 they, they had a sign that I saw this thing where it says if, if you had a hammer and nails and you buy this, this would really help you build a house. And I don't got no house. Yeah. And I bought the nails too. And I bought some lumber. Oh, did I try nailing any of the nails? No, I was watching the football game. Drinking my beer, sitting on the sofa, getting fat. But they misled me. They told me that if I got this hammer and nails, I would have a house. That's not what they meant. You know, I actually had to do some work. Oh, hell no. I still got misled. I'm not, they were misled. They're cheap. They're, they're, they're crooks. They're crooks. Anyway, that's about as stupid as it sounds for you. Uh, some of the people that expect to buy something about learning how to uh, build a business online and then whining and crying because they don't do what it takes to, to build a business and they, they make no money. So we do have to put the disclaimer in there that results are not typical, which means like average or majority of the people don't make any money. And that's true because the majority of the people who go to college don't make any money when they get out. In fact, a lot of them don't even have a real good job other than flipping burgers that should be for high school kids to begin with. So here's the deal. If you take some of what I teach you in information and resources, you can start building over time, or as fast as you want, a business that will grow into something down the road. Okay? Um, it, it just takes a little bit of time. It takes a longer time for some people. But the best part about it, consider this. I got in a truck accident. It wasn't my lifeline, but I was out there doing it. But say that I would, I depended on that truck driving job to support me. I got in a truck accident. Basically, physically, I was in bed for over a year. If I didn't have this online business built up over the years, where would the money come from? How would I still today be able to travel and do all the things I do? Speaking of which, Las Vegas, I'm wearing this shirt because I would be in Las Vegas on the uh, third weekend of February. You really ought to consider coming. It's about the uh, Dubly uh, business opportunity. And uh, our team is putting together, and we're going to meet with Michael Hansen, the, the owner and founder. Uh, he's a billionaire. 
Uh, so you get the chance to meet him and learn about all we're going to do. So if you want to know more about that, text me, send me your information. But basically, you, you got to sign up as a business associate to go. So it's just that simple. Um, okay. So let's um, let's pick out a, a business today. Cafe owner. That's um, um, I didn't pick this at random just now. I picked it ahead of time because um, I used to be in the restaurant business. Yes, people trusted me cooking their food. <laughs> um, actually, I was with Sambo's Restaurants, and then I've been in, here and there. My family had uh, you know food places and so forth. I, I, I was working, uh, going to work at midnight and cooking donuts and stuff before I went to school in the, in the mornings. Um, so I've been in the, the retail food industry uh, quite a lot in my past. So here's the deal. A small cafe owner. Unbelievable opportunity here. Because someone comes in, they are sitting at your table for 15, 20 minutes, half an hour, or an hour, maybe more. And what do you have in there? A lot of places have TVs. Okay? And there, all these advertisements are coming on to buy other things. And if you're the cafe owner, someone is using your your business, and you have to pay for that cable TV. And in other words, you have to pay for somebody else to steal money from your customers. That don't make any sense. You, they should be paying you to be broadcasting inside your business. That's the way I look at it. But somehow or another, the cable companies have hypnotized us into believing that we should pay them to watch commercials. What? Now, I can understand if you watched the game and there was no commercials, yes, pay for that. But the pay for commercials that are advertising your customers? No. So here's the deal. Um, every table has little table tents on, right? You know, whatever. And um, if you put on there, on these table tents, about like the cash back program, uh, uh, the beach body fitness programs if you're a coach, um, if you promoted some other business opportunities, and especially the cash back program, because that's huge, and you and you kept it filled with little business cards with the uh, the link to your and, and if you have a cafe, if it's like Tom's Cafe, you should have Tom'sCafe.com slash cash back. And then there should be a page there that will take them to the cash back program. Because Again, I'm going to repeat this shortly, and I'm going to have a video up here soon. I'm just kind of waiting to see if somebody else is going to do it so I can just load theirs up, but I will probably do one temporarily. If you that cafe owner gets a 1,000 people to enroll as a VIP to get the benefits of being a cash back, they're going to make $20,000. Now, do you not think $20,000 a year, because they're going to renew every year, hopefully, do you not think $20,000 a year isn't going to help that cafe owner? I think so. Plus, if they're a business associate, they got the opportunity to make forty-five thousand or even more. But I'm not going to go into the details on that. So now, also to promote the blog, the blog is advertising. Get an email list. Get a mailing going out to your people. Tell them about a new uh, menu, a new item on the menu, or have a contest. Say like, anybody got a suggestion for something new and crazy, uh, a new item that I can put on the menu to try. And uh, look, I found something the other day, and uh, let me put it here, um, flying by the seat of my pants, um, a bacon taco. Okay, I'm going to post a picture up here of the bacon taco. Yeah, um, it looks good. I'm going to try making one. So um, have a contest for a, a, you know, a, a new food item to go on the menu temporarily and see how the response is. And then have people uh, respond back on what they thought of it when they come in. And have some kind of a great prize or something. So get interaction with your customers when they come in. Uh, and that's what your blog would do. And then your blog is also going to promote a lot of things on it. I mean, you're going to talk about new items on the menu. You're going to talk about special events in the community. And uh, just different things that goes on in your cafe. And then on the right-hand side of the page, like I have the advertisements here, you can be advertising things too about anything that you want because a cafe doesn't have to promote food products or anything uh, they can just promote all kinds of things that might be interesting so you can have all kinds of ads especially the cash back I think that would be huge or the beach body programs because both are huge opportunities and then you could also you know if you had a three-sided tent you could have uh, you know here's my here's my idea have a three-sided tent this thing doesn't want to open <laughs> three sides have a three-sided triangular type tent and have cash back, have beach body products, and then have um, your uh, your uh, blogging opportunity on how to start a business. 
and then all of them have your information on it so they can take a picture or type in the link right there or better yet they have the new thing to where you can just take a picture with your phone and it'll go right to the website from the, the little code and put a slot in there to where you can keep business cards in there so people can take business cards and make sure to have a display at your front counter so all this stuff is a way for a cafe owner to take advantage of the customers that he has coming in why let them leave and spend money somewhere else which they're going to do they're gonna go buy a TV they're gonna go buy some uh, food they're gonna go buy some parts for their car uh, they're gonna go uh, you know maybe buy an Apple computer they're, they're gonna maybe go on vacation they can do all that through you and you can earn cash back and commissions so why not it makes sense to me so if any of you are a cafe owner um, absolutely uh, get in touch with me now um, something I've been asked is if I would go in more detail for each one of these and um, actually yeah I will you know what I'm thinking about doing is creating a page that's the million dollar blogging system dot com slash and it'll be um, business slash and then like small cafe um, hair salon uh, what was the one yesterday landscape artist <laughs> yeah I love that um, you know a photographer model uh, doctor so I'll create a page for each one of those businesses and give you all kinds of ideas and pretty much I'll create a sample blog page to show what you could be doing pretty simple huh so that's it I, I touched that I promise tomorrow um, I'll be getting shorter on these um, uh, these videos so um, we covered the uh, one opportunity of the day the uh, cafe owner and then we also covered um, the other things that we talked about earlier in the conversation so um, then how do you get the traffic how do you get people to come well again that's just letting people know who you are uh, promote on Facebook learn how to do your targeted audiences so like that in contrary to the cafe owner yesterday um, the uh, the landscape artists can market you know all across the nation and get customers but cafe really can't it's, I can't really I'm not visualizing how that can happen so if you're gonna um, promote on uh, on Facebook you take the demographics and say I want to uh, send I only want my ad to show up in front of people that live in my city like within 10 mile perimeter and that make that earn more than a certain amount obviously depending on the price of your menu what would be the average salary of people that came in the shop with you I mean if your average if you have a, a cafe a, you know a cafe or something and uh, your menu your 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 meals are like 50 bucks then you better start figuring people got to make at least fifty thousand dollars a year so but if your your meals are average you know under ten dollars and up then obviously any kind of uh, income level and then figure the age bracket of who's coming into your restaurant and your cafe and then you target to those uh, demographics and then your results will be much better so you target to people like hamburgers uh, it's, uh, or like if you're gonna try this bacon taco that I'm gonna post a picture under here uh, target to people that like bacon and tacos and breakfast and uh, so target your audience to your local city if you have a small cafe um, whereas the gardener yesterday landscape artist he can promote nationwide because he's gonna be talking about products that people can use nationwide but in a cafe I think it'd be better to stay locally focused okay that's my story and I'm sticking to it uh, this is Bob Maddox and today is uh, the millionaire blogging system part 4 episode 4 and please leave comments below send me an email at bobmaddoxaol.com or find me on Facebook or click on the YouTube uh, button here on the video it'll take you to the YouTube page and you can leave questions and comments there also so I'm out of here adios See you tomorrow for the Millionaire Blogging System Part 5.